Across the Falklands, they're marking a decade since they voted by a staggering 99.8% to remain British. <laughs> Although overseen by international observers, the results of that referendum have never been recognised by the Argentinian government. Seven years ago, Buenos Aires and London effectively agreed to disagree over the island's sovereignty and signed up to a pact aimed at improving economic, environmental and social relations. But this week, all that ended as the Argentinians ripped up the agreement and demanded fresh talks over the future of the Falklands. We're always disappointed with the reaction from Argentina, but we're not at all surprised. It's something that we've, we've come to live with and, and we understand them very, very clearly. When the economy and when, when, when the political situation in Argentina gets tough, then we are the sort of whipping boys from their point of view. The Argentinian economy is in meltdown. Critics of the government in Buenos Aires accuse it of reigniting the row over Falkland sovereignty to distract from its domestic troubles. On a practical level, though, any withdrawal from the cooperation agreement will hurt the islands. It has impacted the Falklands because the, the, we can't share fisheries data with Argentina because of the, the, the migration of, of the, the fish stock in the ocean. Uh, we've lost a flight to Sao Paulo, uh, which was our second link to South America. And also the, the agreement benefited Argentina because it helped identify the war dead from the war. So I don't really think anyone is, is, comes out better for this agreement coming to an end. With more than a thousand British military personnel, typhoon fighters and a Royal Navy presence, the Falklands is far better defended now than before the war in 82. No one here believes Argentina has the slightest interest or indeed capability to threaten the islands militarily. But for the time being at least, it seems determined to ramp up the diplomatic and economic pressure despite the express wish of this island community. Mark White, GB News.